When Cameron was in Egypt's land Let my Cameron go Everybody, <clears throat> Nathan here Getting a couple videos in today So if don't know what order they're going out in. If you notice a wardrobe change is not made, you'll be fine. I shower, don't worry. <laughs> anyway, wanted to do a uh, little gall update uh, real quick. Um, so, uh, and also a reminder real quick before I get to that. Uh, remember, we have the Columbus Pipe Show coming here into town. Uh, that is uh, August 13th and 14th. Um, so, you know, come one, come all. If you are uh, making it to the Columbus area, uh, we're trying to do a little YTPC get-together. Uh, so if you want to join in on the fun there, shoot me an email. Um and uh, just give me your contact information, what you're willing to give or whatever, and I'll just kind of try and organize that in a group. Uh, we're looking to do it uh, the Friday night uh, of the uh, uh, ordeal uh, or the show. That way we can just kind of hang out at the hotel or wherever or go grab a bite to eat because I think there's stuff around the hotel that they're doing the pipe show at. Uh, and just kind of hang out, have some pipes, potentially uh, do a live, um, you know, and just enjoy one another's company. So, um, so yeah. Uh, so that's out of the way. Again, just email me, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll we'll get a smattering of folks together to do uh, just have a good time together. Uh, that that's beyond the computer screen. So, now we have the GAW update. Uh, I've only had a, a few entries, uh, one video, uh, and then a handful of uh, I'm ins. So, uh, remember you get, uh, for a comment, you just say I'm in, and you get a point for that, and a point for also including a pipe quote uh, that's attributed to somebody. Um, and, uh, uh, so that's... You know, for anyone who's not making a video, if you are going to make a video, uh, you will get a point for doing that, but uh, a point for commenting in the video a famous pipe quote. But also the main purpose of the video is problem solving with in the hobby, whether it's in pipe making, restoration, um, in uh, the process of smoking or how you pack, or the process you have of finding a pipe or a tobacco and how you resolve that issue uh, because again I want to get a resource out there for folks um, you know a singular resource out there uh, for if they're having an issue they can look through a playlist and say oh well I've had a similar issue let's see if this one works for me and again we're all different but it's just good to kind of have fellowship around that and you know have uh, resolution to your own problems or at least an avenue that may spark another thought that may lead you to your resolution. And this is for newbies and, and veterans and so-called novices uh, alike. So, uh, so yeah, please get your videos in because I would love to build that out. Um, and even if their videos after the GAW is done, I'm, I plan on expanding this and continuing to build on it so um so that said the and it's due on the 30th uh, so once it turns to the 31st that's the cutoff and uh then i will get a list together record a, a drawing and then get in contact with the winners so the next question is that i did not put in the last video because i was still kind of putting it together is well, what do you win? The answer is tobacco. Hmm. 
by the way. Smoking my fatchin. With a little three nuns. Not bad tobacco. Pretty well. Pretty well balanced. Burley. Virginia blend. But anyway, you don't want me going on about that. You want to know what you win. So, these first two. So, the first two tobaccos are going to all go to one or the other. <coughs> <coughs> so, and the preference of um, the choice between these two will go to whomever wins the video response, uh, just because they put a little bit more effort in making a video and, and, and all that. I think that's understood. So the winner of the two will get a choice between this bag. Um, it's about eight to ten flakes of H8's Bold Kentucky, uh, which was tinned back in 2015. So it has a, a good chunk of age on it already. Um, and boy, it, it's, it's, uh, it's one of those blends I couldn't get into. Uh, it, was, it didn't treat me nicely, real harsh. But I know a lot of you guys out there like it. Uh, so, you know, if that's your thing, get in there. Comment, video, all that stuff. Because that's a good blend two other people. The other blend, as I light up here, is also very popular. And also one that just did not agree with me. But it's been in my jar for at least three years. Um, and that is Cornell and Deal's Bijou. And, yeah, it's been sitting in there. It smells great. But it's been sitting in there, and that's... I think I've only had a, two, maybe three bowls out of this. So it's about the same amount as the HH Bowl of Kentucky. Um, but again, it's got three years of age on it at least, maybe four. Um, I, I'm having trouble recalling when I bought it. But anyway, so the winner of the VR uh, will get the choice between the two, and then the other will go to uh, the winner of the comment entries. Um, so yeah, it's uh, roughly about one and a half ounces of each. Now, the rest of these are going to be split up between both. Um, all in all, I think I've got probably a little bit over 13 ounces, I think, that I'm giving out here. Um, and all, you know, some of these I don't smoke. Um, or they, there's, you know, in any case. So, a good blend. I, I enjoyed it in my formative months of pipe smoking. And that's uh, Cornell and Deal's London Squire. I pour lighting in here. Um, and, you know, I've got about two and a half ounces here that I'll split up between the two. Um, it's a nice little English blend. Um, uh, the next one, I've got about another two and a half ounces in this jar here. Um, and that's Cornell and Deal's uh, Autumn Evening. Uh, that's a good fall smoke um, and it's, it's not a bad blend um, but I've got enough other aromatics in my uh, my cabinet that will get choice over over that so um, yeah I figure it can go to a good home um, and then uh, I've got in this about 
Now, keeping some of it for myself, so I'm going to do about an ounce each for the winners of McBaron's Lot of Kia Rolls. Um, you know, it's a good blend, uh, which is why I'm keeping some of it. Uh, but I've just got a lot of other blends that end up taking precedence. And, you know, since this came in a three and a half ounce tin, the, the rapture may occur before I get to the end of it. So, um, so yeah. And last but not least, a blend that is, I think, pretty well enjoyed. I don't think I've heard a negative review on it at all and I went ahead and got two tins of it thinking that it was going to be a, a great thing because I had just discovered dark fired Kentucky and this one was dark fired Kentucky that was done in Italy and I thought oh that might be an interesting blend to try out For other people <laughs> um, you know it's one of those ones that almost from the first puff just absolutely tore me to shreds uh, for whatever reason I don't know why uh, I tried to age it and see if that helped it didn't so it gets entered in the gaw and that is uh, CND's small batch San Sepulcro and this is from 2018 as well I think it was when that came out uh, so it's and I think it's their oldest batch of it um, and I'm splitting up all of that and that's a bit over three ounces of that that I'll split up between the two um, yeah it's got some good flavors in there uh, but it just for me it was just a bit too heavy I think is the best way to describe it that I just it didn't sit well um, so again, I mean, they're all, all the blends have their good merits, um, you know, but I'll never get to them <laughs> for the most part. And I know that other people would enjoy them. So we're going to share. So that's what's, well, that's what's up for grabs in the gaw. Um, so again, you know, um, share this video out to, uh, let people know what's going on and hopefully they, they all can contribute uh, again we're all a pretty uh, good and sharing community of folks that like to help each other with the uh, issues that we're having in the hobby and, and everything else so um, but again just uh, let me know that you've done a VR I'll check it out mark it I will confirm in your comments uh, whether or not I've seen it if you don't get a response to my comment it's because I haven't either watched it or I haven't seen the comment and so just make sure that I, I'm aware that you're out there because uh, if I don't see a comment it's not going to cue me in to referring to another video so all that said thanks for watching count your blessings be thankful for them and when all that's said and done, grace and peace to you.